everyone. I'm Allie from Pop Up Painters. Thanks for tuning in. I have some very, very, very cool crafts to do today with you. Um, these crafts are simple. They use uh, items around the house. It doesn't require a lot of materials and they are very easy for all ages. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make these cool crafts for Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Um, so for our very first craft, we are gonna be making a globe using acrylic paint, blue and green, a paper plate, and a Ziploc bag. So what you're gonna do first is you are going to turn your paper plate so that it's upside down and the back end stands up. So you have the inside on the bottom. And then with your green and your blue paint, all you're gonna do is directly apply the paint onto your paper plate. Like that. And inside of your Ziploc bag, be very careful when you open it. You wanna make sure that the top end is high enough that it's not gonna smear the paint as you're putting the plate in. So we've got our plate inside of the Ziploc bag and parents, this part's very important, especially with young ones, you want to Ziploc the edge if you can. Get it all closed up. So this sensory, messy, uh, free craft is fantastic even for little ones. So what they can do now um, and even uh, at, at any age is they're gonna start to push and smear all of that paint together and spread it around on your paper plate. You can leave it so that it's just on the end or the top part of it, but if you want to spread it down, going all the way down, that always turns out great. So as you're spreading around your paint, it's gonna start to resemble our earth. And it is virtually mess free. There we go. So we've got all of our paint spread out. And what you're going to do now is you are going to remove your paper plate. Now, if you wanted to take a few minutes and really, really, really smear on the paint on the edges, it always looks nice as a finished product to have as much paint on your paper plate and as less white as possible. Um, so we're gonna have all that paint nice and spread around, perfect. And what we're gonna do is open up our bags, reach in, and you've got your very own earth. For our second craft today for Earth Day. This one is always really simple. We're going to be making coffee filter um, earths. So how are the products that we need or the materials that we need for that? So you're going to need one coffee filter and the round ones work best. Um, if you don't have coffee filters, you can easily use tissue paper and just cut it into a circle. And then we're gonna have uh, a blue and a green washable marker. Sharpies, unfortunately, permanent markers will not work well for this particular craft. Um, so make sure that they are um, washable. And a spray bottle filled with water. So for this craft, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your blue and your green markers and you are going to color in various areas on your coffee filter. And I wanna go right up to the edge, but it's not important that your colors necessarily fill the entire white. You can leave some of the areas uh, blank because it always turns out really cool to have different uh, variations in the color. You can have parts that are a bit darker and parts that are a little bit lighter. 
So once you have your green and your blue colored on, this is really cool. And again, this is great for all ages because um, the children um, can color their coffee filter and they can actually squeeze on their water themselves. So for this, you're gonna squeeze on your water onto your coffee filter and you will slowly watch all of those colors blend together. So there you have it. We have our two easy crafts for Earth Day. Um, it's such a great day to celebrate and to take advantage of all the beautiful blues and the greens and all of these different crafts. So again, you've got your coffee filter. Um, Earth, this looks fantastic when it's hung up in the window. And we have our Ziploc Messy Free painting. Happy Earth Day. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos and you want to keep, uh, keep them coming, make sure to like and leave your comments below. Um, and thanks again.